Hey, what's up everybody? This is Norris again. And today I wanted to talk about my hair. Um, I get so many questions on how do I keep it up? Um, how do I sleep on it? How do I wash it? Um, is it a hat? All kind of silly stuff. So I wanted to just take the time to just give you the evolution of it, how it, how it came about. So when I started to grow my hair, I wanted to do something different than actually add color to it because a lot of people put color in their hair and dye it. And the one thing I thought would be unique was to just put jewelry in it. Um, it wouldn't it wouldn't damage my hair. Uh, it wouldn't change the color of it or none of that stuff. So at the time, it started falling to my face. So I would put it into different ponytails and keep it up. Um, the thing is, those ponytails became bigger dreads. And then the bigger dreads started matting up together, as you can see in the front. Um, this used to be a dread. This used to be a big dread. And this just be one. So this is like three that matted up together to form this whole wall of dread. And I had three in the in the front right here. One, two, and then three right here. And all this became one big dread. So I have pretty much like six dreads that's stuck together. And then I have two separate ones in the back that are stuck together by this one dread that served as like a bridge for the both of these. So <clears throat> um over the last couple of years, the only thing I've been doing is adding to my new growth. Every time I get new growth, I take um, uh, little metal pieces that I add, and it just keeps going and going. Um, I never pictured my hair to look like this. It just evolved. So um, that's pretty much how the evolution of this started. All these little metal pieces that you see, you can't just get these anywhere. Um, they really don't sell them like in the city. You have to go. I mean, kind of to the hood to get them. Um, <laughs> it's like, it just says beauty supply store. You just walk in there and um, and, and they like $1.99 for like a pack of 10. And I just get like like $10 worth of them. And I just go in wherever I see any spaces that need to be filled. And usually it's down in my new growth. And I haven't put them in about a good month. So I have quite a bit of new growth down here. So I need to add them in. I'm going to show you exactly the, how that process is. I started to put different kind of jewelry and different beads in it. So yesterday I took my camera with me on the way to the barbershop. Thought it would be pretty cool to um, show you the process on how I hold my hair up and how he gets all up in the blend and all that stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this montage. Um, we're on the way to the barbershop to get cut, not off. I'm just gonna, you know, get the size done and make sure I get my face taken care of so you'll see like how I um how I would keep up with the maintenance of it. So um so yeah, so just sit tight. Oh, uh shout out to one direction in the background if you hear it or not. <laughs> um <laughs> that's been my morning tunes. So anyway, um yeah, so just sit tight and join me for the ride. So, this is my first time going to this barbershop. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like it might not be a barbershop. <laughs> so, brace yourself, it might be somebody's living room. <laughs> but don't get it twisted, he has mad skills.
Welcome back. Uh, shouts out to Nor the Barber. Did this dope and fresh cut on me. Uh, hope you enjoy the process. So before I leave you, uh, there's a few more questions that I get asked. Um, one, how do you sleep on it? This is how I sleep on my hair. Just like this. It's that easy. That's how I sleep on it, okay? So how do I wash it? Um, I usually don't shampoo it because it dries it out. So I just condition it and usually, usually I use um, shea butter um, conditioning. And after I um, let it air dry naturally, I usually add shea butter oil or coconut oil. So I kind of alternate between the two, depending on you know so how I'm feeling. Um, other than that, that's it. I just let it grow. So the oil just makes it stay healthy. So I hope this video helped on all the questions that I get asked. Um, if you have more questions, I mean, just send it in. I'll probably do a part two. But, um, but yeah, that's it. So, so that's it. I hope this inspires you to be yourself. Um, it's very important for you to have confidence in who you are. So uh, once again, subscribe to this style channel and also my lifestyle blog, which is norisdancer4.com. And until next time, see you next week.